With thousands of kids heading back to classrooms this week, summer vacation is winding down. Which is why Oklahoma Traveler Scott Thompson is glad to have had a day to tool around Grand Lake with Ernie and Ross, the Noodling Brothers, on holiday in Mays County. Ernie and Ross Smith are on vacation. If you're bashful, you don't get to eat. Which means the ducks share in a bountiful breakfast of bread. The little bread store across the way uh, gives it to me uh, sometimes for nothing and sometimes for 25 cents a loaf. That's, that's Ethel. And the two chipmunks they've trained make out like bandits. We have Fred and we have Ethel. You, you remember I Love Lucy? Well, these two bicker just like Fred and Ethel. For two weeks every summer, you'll find Ernie and Ross in this very same camp spot at Cherokee State Park. Ernie drives over from Skyatook Ross flies in from San Francisco. They put up plenty of camp chairs in case anyone else happens by. And then they renew the heartfelt business of being brothers. He's very hyperactive, very, very busy all the time, gets bored easy. And I can lay in the shade all day and not bother me at all. So Ross, longing to do more than just give handouts to ravenous ducks, and Ernie, taxed to the max, offering pecans, compromise and head to the water. They head out every morning in the boat they built to search for this day's lunch and dinner. Ernie at the motor, Ross suiting up for grocery shopping, pulling on a scuba suit over his flannels and jeans and heavy wool socks. They shop in backwater coves they know like the backs of their hands. They grew up here after all, when this lake was still a river. And this has been a good spot for us over the years. We've got a lot of catfish on this spot. Sensing that a big old flathead is hiding in the murk, Ross heads over the side to begin his noodling. The law says for a month and a half every summer in two Oklahoma counties, you can pull on a scuba suit and grab catfish to your heart's content. Usually when he stays on the spot quite a while, it means there might be a catfish in that hole. But sometimes that catfish uses his noodle and outmaneuvers the noodler. It was a small one laying up, but he went right out between my hands while I was pulled the pole back in the hole. Undaunted, we head to another spot. All the while, Ernie and Ross's thoughts swimming with deep fried dreams. If you've never eaten sweet and sour catfish, you have never eaten fish. To that end, Ross is over the side again. And this time he comes back with a potential entree. But up in the boat, the old cotton scale doesn't lie. Exactly nine pounds. Maybe this one will be dinner come next year's vacation. Our policy is never take anything under 10 pounds. It all seems like so much work for lunch in this drive up window world. Well, it's mighty good eating. But I get a sense it's more than a full stomach that spurs this annual get together. Back when they were boys and dreams seemed real, they were going to sail a raft down the Mississippi. That innocence ended with the Second World War. After service in the Navy, the brothers Smith went their separate ways. Ross around the world with an oil company, Ernie close to home with American Airlines. And while Ross was back hunting catfish again, Ernie told me what it means to have a brother. If something comes up that I need help on, I'd just pick up the phone and say, Ross, I need you, and he'd come, regardless. And vice versa. How's that one? <laughs> As in helping pull dinner into the boat. Maybe 17 and 3 quarters. Yeah, 17 and 3 quarters. That's a nice fish. And it will fill out the menu back at camp, folded into catfish stew, and wrapped in Ross's secret batter. And I call it my never fi miss fish recipe because it never misses. I always have perfect fish. Add a few sliced tomatoes, and back where the day began, it pauses for lunch. What you'll hear mostly is the buzz of cicadas and the crunch of cornmeal batter. What you'll feel is the quiet bond of brothers. Well, we have a great time. In the autumn of their lives on summer vacation. We just have a ball. At Cherokee State Park, Scott Thompson, the Oklahoma Traveler. What a nice way to end the summer, huh? Well, those are some pretty cool guys. Mm -hmm. 
Well, if you're planning on filling up your gas tank in the morning, you may need to bring along some extra cash. The latest on changing gas prices next. But first, here's a look at the schools heading back to class tomorrow.